Hi guys and welcome to another Windows tutorial. Today we're going to look at HP Integrated Lights Out 2, that's ILO 2. ILO 2 is a way of accessing the server when it's off, on, frozen, crashed, unresponsive, whatever. It's a separate port on the back of the HP server that lets you manage it remotely. So to look at this, what you need to do is go to the IP address of the ILO port on your HP ProLiant server. For example, HTTPS, the IP address. Hit return. If you see this, just click continue. And you'll be presented with the integrated lights out to page. Now, by default, the login password, the login name will be administrator, and the password will be on will be um, on a DL three TG six. It's underneath the hood, but it may be different on other servers. Look around, you'll see it. So I'm gonna log in. I've got my own account on this one. Hit return to log in. Okay, so after you've logged in, this is the first page you'll get to, which is the status summary page. This will give you the server name, the model, serial number and product ID, the UUID, system ROM, system health status, server power light, so a server power. UID light, you can turn it on or off, so you can identify the server in the rack, for example. Last user remote console, latest IML entry, ILO2 name, ILO2 fully qualified domain name, license type, ILO2 advanced, ILO2 firmware version, IP address, active sessions, latest ILO2 event log entry, ILO2 date and time. So the next one down you have is system information. Show you information about fans, temperatures, VRMs, power supplies, drives. All right, so fans, this shows you the speed of all the fans. So fans one to six in this server. Temperatures are different areas inside the server. So for example, OK in the reading. Power. This will show you the power usage. So present power reading 101 watts at 10 o'clock. Processors. This will show you information about the processors in the server. So processor one and processor two. Memory. This will show you basic information about the memory in the server. As you can see, I've only got six gig in this one. Nix. This will show you the MAC addresses of the Nix for standard use and iSCSI use and drives so you'll see you've only got two drives in this one and what you can also do here is turn the UID lights on and off you can't actually see but here we go UID, UID stay on and it turns off again alright next one down is ILO2 log this is a log of all the information about what's been going on with ILO Obviously, you can clear the event log from here. You'll say, are you sure? OK, fantastic. The integrated management log. Example, new ROM flashed, network down, IML cleared. You clear IML from there on the bottom, OK. Diagnostics. You've got the non-maskable -interrupt, non interrupts button. You've got ILO2 self-tests. And if ILO2 ever freezes for any reason, you can head on here and reset it. ILO2 user tips, insight agent. The next tab along is remote console. So you've got different remote consoles here. You've got the remote serial console, the remote console, integrated remote console full screen that takes the con takes the screen of the server full screen on your screen and you've got the integrated remote console which I'll show you quickly here All 
Okay, so you see I'm here on the server. You can just press Control Delete. It will take a moment to catch up because I'm doing it over VPN. And here we go, obviously you can see that I can pretty much control anything it does and to give you a sense of how powerful this is, I'm going to minimise this, you know, I'll let you see what it's going to do. Okay, well we'll leave that for a moment. So next along you have virtual media. What this lets you do is connect a virtual CD, DVD, ROM, or floppy or USB key. Um, I don't know if this works. Didn't last time I tried it. Always trust, yes. Okay, well you get the idea. It will let me mount anything connected to my computer onto the server. Power management. It will show you that the server is currently on. You can do a moment to press and turn the server off. Press and hold to turn the server off. You can do a cold boot, which will power cycle the server, and you can reset. Next tab down is the power meter. While waiting for that, we'll just have a look at the that, it's still doing that, fine. Let's that in a second. So power meter. Okay, as you can see, well, that's not doing anything. You can see here the server is rebooting. You can see it booting up. I'm going to come off of this because I think it's stopping us from doing anything else. Let's refresh this. Okay, well, it seems that the VPN has obviously gone down or something, so I'm going to have to end it there.